Hey guys, welcome to a Casque Gaming Path of Exile versus Diablo 4 video. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing open world dungeons in Path of Exile versus Diablo 4. So it's basically maps versus dungeons. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy the um, the opinion that I have on this and feel free if you have a different opinion to shout it out down below. But without further ado, let's have a look at the first clip, which is a video of myself doing an open world dungeon with our constant star contributor, Bune, and our new friend, Headshotter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into the, the next map. We're doing the Dark Forest. It's like Dark Forest, extra things. Yeah, it would be, it would be very Blizzard of them. But, um, but remember, it is just for early access and for, for like the, for the Diablo games, you can like buy the base game, but then if you want early access, it does cost more. Like everyone, everyone gets to play in the PTR, but yeah, early access is like a whole, a whole nother story. I need more mana. Do I need more mana? Do I need more mana? I'm sorry, did you say you need more mana? Because I could have sworn you said you needed more mana. Sorry, I just like want to eternally turn off. I need more mana. I need more mana. Even though I know that it's actually useful. Come on! Freaking shield! Freaking dodge out of that, you silly, silly woman. Things are, things are doing things, and there's there's stuff on the ground, and like I want everything. Oh, rogues markers. I don't know if I'm gonna. Do, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna do the rogues harbor again. Cause I didn't actually. The the last time I played it, I didn't have like heaps of fun with it. Oh, explorer scouting report. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna grab it because that looks. That looks important. Oh, right. I've um I've got a couple of those. I'm like exploring going. Here oh here monsters, here monsters. Ah There are sort of there's sort of our monsters here. <gasps> hey, there we go. Oh wow, that is really fast. And I didn't stand on the stuff. All right. Oh, it's like centauri kind of dudes here. There we go. Yes. Okay. So this map right up the top. That's gonna be uh, the map right up the top. The doorway. Shit. That's fine. I keep. I need to figure out what I do and don't necessarily need in terms of um, in terms of auras because my mana regen is so bad like I have so much reserved um, yeah so I really need to figure out what I do and don't need um, all right, do we go in this door up the top here, up the top here? Into the arena? All right, into the arena. All right, I'm sticking with you guys. Because <laughs> this is scary. Or I anticipate this being scary. Hey, okay, here we go. Oh, the Cursed King, that's right. It's the dude with the wolves. Hey! Okay, I feel like that was cheating a little bit because you guys are so good. 
Oh, but we got it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that open world Path of Exile dungeon. Um, it was absolutely fantastic running around with Bune and Headshutter. Um, it was, I think this was the first open dungeon, the first dungeon at all that I'd done with a group of friends. So I had an absolute blast of a time. Now, in comparison, let's have a look at a bit more of an open world um, Diablo 4 video. <laughs> Alright, and this one is starring my good friends, um, Killamall, Ethos, and Electro. I hope you enjoy it. Right, so I hope you enjoyed those two videos. Um, with the Diablo one, you got to see a little bit of closed and open, which is really, really great for comparison. Now, let's get on to my opinions of which does which better. And um, if you disagree, please just you know, shout out in the comments, say what you like, what you prefer better. Um, I've got a really fantastic closed world map that I've done with this, with the same, um, Path of Exile guys. So I'll, I'll put that up, um, a little bit later. So what are my opinions of who does group play better? Honestly, for just pure mindless running around, uh, giggles, you've got to go with, with D4. Um, your builds are all sort of overpowered. Everyone's overpowered by the time they reach 100. 
you know, it's it doesn't take an awful lot of optimization to get to a build where you can just smash through the dungeons. Um, on the other hand, Path of Exile, it's really fun. Um, it's crazy when the people in your group are so much higher level than you. It does offer like quite a layer of protection, which feels pretty good. It makes it makes your like puny build feel a little bit overpowered, so it's very fun. Um, but who does it better? And I guess the question really falls to what are you looking for in your dungeons? So if you're looking for progression where you feel like things actually are quite difficult and that, you know, if you're up with people around the same level, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. You're going to sort of have a bit of sweating. It's going to feel a little bit crazy. Path of Exile, hands down. If you want an experience where, where you're running around with your friends, just being crazy, being overpowered, if you die, you don't really feel the consequences of it, Diablo 4, hands down. What do I prefer personally? This is going to be a rough one. I personally prefer Path of Exile, but I also love running with my Diablo 4 friends, so I'm really, really torn. The gameplay of Path of Exile just is head and shoulders above Diablo 4, but that being said, they're such different games. So the level of difficulty and customization involved with Path of Exile just far out, out like outclasses, exceeds Diablo 4 in every way. And you guys know that I love Diablo 4, so that, that's like, that's a lot, that's a big thing for me to say. Um, but you know, if you're looking for something a little bit more casual friendly, then Diablo 4 has got you hands down. So, do you agree? Is Do the Path of Exile dungeons slash maps do it better than Diablo 4? Is, you know, are you looking for that more of a challenge? Are you looking for just a breezy fun time with your friends? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you disagree. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video and uh, yeah, I will be back to regular video uploads and regular streams um, in the next coming couple of weeks. So I will see you guys very soon. I love you all. Bye for now.